All right, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Macha, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who have taught us this truth through the Spirit and power Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and honors and salutations to the elect Dachim, doing these words in sincerity and in truth. So I got a prayer here, you know, to um to remain in the presence of the Lord. All right. And definitely shout out to well, first off, the brother and Kahan in our camp who sends us prayers that the brother down there in um DC makes short prayers for us to continue to grow in the faith, you know, and so forth, man. Okay, so definitely gotta give a shout out to them brothers, man, to inspire me to do this lesson, you know, with a prayer that I, I, I came up with, man, right? And pretty much I'm going to read it, read it in English, and then get some scriptures and also show you how I got each, how I got some of the words here, you know? Because some of these words, the brother in DC goes over it plenty of times, some words we should already know. All right, and so forth. So it goes, uh, Thapalathia, Shemai, I thought, Salak, Salak, Chata, Ath, Yumya, Wa, Babakasha, Barakya, Ath, Chasad, Barakya, Ath, Atham, uh, Panayim, La, Shakun, Ath, Ya, Thamyad, Shakun, Ba, Labya, Wa, Izaria, Zakar, La, Thapalath, Thamyad, Tawa. Okay. Which reads, my prayer here now, forgive my sins and please bless me with mercy. Bless me with your presence to dwell with me continually. Remain in my mind and help me remember to pray continually to walk. Okay. So, you know, what I true. Um, pretty much the inspiration from this lesson as well comes from Mo uh, something that Moses and Yahweh was talking about in this is Exodus chapter 33 verses um, I'll start at verse 13 it says now therefore I pray thee if I have found grace in thy sight show me now thy way that I may know thee that I may find grace in thy sight and consider that this nation is thy people and he said my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up thence. See? So this was, you know, how um, pretty much they were um, getting ready to go and take over that land, you know, which was going to be of Israel. But there were still a lot more laws, statutes, and commandments that had to be discussed before that. All right, but that's why the Lord said, you know, because the Lord knows everything, man. Moses didn't get to see the land, and that's why Yahweh said in verse 14, Exodus 33 and 14, and he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. See, all right, because ultimately Moses wasn't able to see the land, you know, so that's why he said he's going to give him that rest. You know, if I'm not uh, mistaken. So, you know, but Khan, man, the inspiration from this prayer comes just from that very thing, man. He said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not of thence. So Moses was like, look, if, you're, if your presence ain't going to be with us, you know, don't even bring us there. Because they that's how bad we need Yahweh Ba'ashim al -Shah. We can't do nothing of our own will, man. You know, we need Yahweh Shema Shai. We need his presence to dwell with us. You know? So I read that. I was like, damn, man. I, I got to, you know, make a prayer for Yahweh Shema Shai's presence to remain with us, man. His hopeful elect. All right? So that's why I read it again in the English. It says, my prayer here now, forgive my sins and please bless me with mercy. Bless me with your presence to dwell with me continually. All right. So now 
Yeah, how about some presence? Whether it be, you know, his chariots, whether it be the angels, you know. Hey, Yahweh Shai himself sometimes. Okay. Well, Yahweh sits on the right hand of the Heavenly Father, but, um, you know, brothers know what I mean, man. All right. That just, you know, the Lord's Spirit just, just, just dwells with us continually. He comes and check on us, man, and just blesses us with prayers, man. It's just it's a beautiful thing, man, you know. So, you know, I ain't trying to say... You know, in these days and age, you got to cover your ass, man. You know? Because you got to actually do that. Think that Yahweh Shai will deal with them separately, man. Okay? Like that bug out. Right? Alizé, man. Talking about Paul went off. Talking about Yahweh Shai to be worshipped. He don't want to give double honors, man. You know? Well, I don't know if he gives it or not, man. But he, he ain't acting like it. And the scriptures just say anyway what? Um they 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 love not and in tongue but indeed and in truth. Alright? So anyway, man, you know. Right. We want Yahweh Bashmashah's presence to always remain with us, man. You know? Always remain in our spirit and in our mind. Also what these scriptures, you know, the Lord's presence runs deep, man. You know, the comforter. The angels, the chariots, actually, uh, them, actually, actually them, you know. Hey, even when we praying to really fill their spirits, okay, we gotta pray hard, man, super hard. All right, so just to get a couple more scriptures about, you know, the Lord's presence, man, because that's what we definitely need to be praying for. And here, just, just think about that, man. We we pray for Yahweh Shemashah's presence to remain with us, His Spirit. You know? To dwell with us before all hell breaks loose. So that's a good look. So, Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear Him and delivereth them. See? You know, the angels. All right? Yahweh also said, Take heed that ye fear not one of these little ones. Their angel do behold the face of the Father every day. Right? So, this is what we want to pray for, man. We don't. This also can go into uh, the oil, man. The, the, the five foolish virgins and the five wise. We want the Lord's oil to. We want to keep the Lord's oil, man. Alright? And, and give true diligence to make our call on an election sure. You know? So this is pretty much a prayer to go into all of that, man. All right. So let me get into the Hebrew. It says Tapalafia Shemai I thought, which brother should know that. Um, brother in DC starts it off like that. All right. That's how we start our prayers off. Tapalafia Shemai I thought. My prayer here now. Salak. We all know that word. Chata Athyomya, which the Hebrew word for uh, sins is a Chata Ath. All right, and I'll get into that. Show how I got that word. All right, just type this in here on the blue letter Bible. Um, tools. All right, and then when you see the word sin here, you got the word right there, the Hebrew word right there, chata oth. All right, chata oth. See, and uh, the Strong's word. Strong's definition right here, an offense, see, for our offenses, for our penalties, right, sins, um, and then, yeah, then when you go to the biblical usage, it says sin, for sinful sin, sin offering, condition of sin, right, so our sins, all right, oh, yeah, and then, oh, so I get, oh, yeah, then when you, Go back to the Strong's the info. It goes on to sin 182 times. All right. So Chata'ath is mentioned under sin 182 times, man. So that's pretty much how I got the word sins, man. And the Hebrew word right here, Chata'ath. says, Wa b'bakashah barak ya'ath chasad. You know, and with 
sure how you say with how I got how I got with you just type type in with go to the lexicon and I thought that um this was the best word for with right here see off because when you go into it it says probably h79 from strong definition off probably from h579 probably nearness used only as a preposition or an adverb near hence generally with by at among see so Yep, and then right here you got it says with hide outline of biblical uses with okay near together with right and so forth man okay then when you click with here it gives examples of how it was used of how off the Hebrew word author was used and it was used you know as with uh, X amount of times, man. All right. Where are all the other words of with isn't really clear cut. All right. Okay. So this one says by, beside, or uh, near, at, with, from. So let's check check this one out so it only says with one time in this um Hebrew definition right here man and this Hebrew word right here so come on man that's why I, I, I went with a off for the word for the Hebrew word with man all right and then it says Kassad so I'll, I'll maybe only get two more words, you know. But you know, you brothers go, you know, continue to plug it in. Um, chasad meaning mercy. Uh, panayim. From um, that's actually the actual Hebrew word that was there when I read it in Exodus, of uh, what the Lord told Moses about his presence going to be with him. You know. And everything else is pretty much the same thing. Maybe a uh, shakan, which is remain. Zakar, we should know that. Because that's why you got uh, Zakaria, which is Zachariah, which means to remember the Most High. So I'll get one more word, which means to remain. Show you how I got that word. From the, uh, I had it I had it down too. Um, I did go with your shop first, but you know I can really say that when we when we have to on Passovers, it's time to sit down and so forth like that. So right, the word shakan here, which clearly means to dwell, abide, place, remain, inhabit, rest, set, continue, dwell. See, so whereas everything else ain't really clear cut like that. He says leave and you know so con sorry I got the word shakan for to remain see so bless me with your presence to dwell with me continually remain in my mind which is shakan ba labia wa izaria zakar la thapalath samya taba alright so you know con man just a, a quick prayer for, for brothers to go over. You know, for brothers to use. So that Yahweh Shemashai's presence remains with us, man. You know, as far as brothers seeing a lot of spiritual signs, a lot of spiritual numbers, a lot of 144s, a lot of scriptures ringing in their head, you know, a lot of spiritual encounters. Okay. The angels continue to dwell, dwell with us, and Yahweh continue to look upon us with favor. 
Alright, so Lord willingness was edifying and helpful. Shalom to the